Welcome back, coders, to another quick review. Uh, today, we are reviewing a product that was sent over to us by Red Dragon. Shout out to Red Dragon for uh, sending over this product. This is not a sponsored video, but it is a review of the uh, M810 Taipan mouse. The reason why I'm really excited about this mouse uh, is because of not only the design, but a lot of different features that this one has. Um, as well as feeling really quite premium. So we'll talk a little bit about that today, but I'm excited to get into the review. So let's uh, dive right in. First off, I wanted to start off by talking about the feature set for the Red Dragon M810 Type N mouse. Uh, this thing is really cool. It has a lot of great features. Um, it's not crazy complex. So we'll go over a couple of those right now. So first off, it has a dual mode 2.4 gigahertz wireless USB-C and a USB-C wired mode. Uh, the USB-C cable on this is braided and it is a luxurious braided cable. So that is one thing that this thing has going for it that I absolutely love. Um, the other thing is it has uh, programmable soft uh, programmable software uh, that you can use to custom customize the LEDs as well as macros and a bunch of other things. We'll cover that later in the video. Um, it also has five onboard DPI levels that can be customized to whatever DPI settings you want, all the way up to 10,000 DPI, which uh, you're crazy if you're playing there. Um, it has eight macro buttons, uh, which uh, basically every single macro button on here uh, can be customized, which is amazing, including that fire button, which is kind of a unique touch, as well as two on the side. Uh, it has 16.8 million color lighting effects. Uh, I don't know if I can test that, but I can say that the LEDs are quite nice, especially on that scroll wheel. I think the outside ones are nice and subtle too. This is not an overbearingly LED'd mouse, which I appreciate. It has a uh, low consumption and eco mode. Uh, it weighs 350 grams um, and it feels substantial. Uh, I had a mouse before this, which is a wired mouse. And the only thing that I can say is that while it did come with weights, it was either too heavy or too light. And I feel like this is a nice middle ground um, as well. So. Between all of those different things, it's got a nice feature set um, and it really does feel amazing in the hand. So that leads us to the next section, which would be just the overall feel and uh, usability of the mouse. So right, right now you can see it, it really does conform to my hand really well. It's got that nice little lip here, uh, which is a nice place for your thumb to rest instead of rubbing on the actual mouse pad itself. The other thing is it's got great grippy areas right along the side there. And I'll, maybe I'll cut to some good footage here for you to see that more up close. It's got some nice grips over here. They're a little bit more textured than I would like, but I do think it's a nice thing for us to grab and hold. And I do find that it makes it so it's a little less sweaty in the hand. That is a great option. The other thing is the scroll wheel is, is really nice and responsive. There's no issues being able to scroll to everything. All of the buttons feel extremely responsive. Uh, the clicks are, are, are very, very, very uh, nice and responsive they have no issues there and there's a lot of different uh buttons that you can press on so i think overall the comfort and the experience is actually really really high quality you're definitely getting a lot of mouse uh for your dollar uh at only 32.99 on the site and with an extra uh 10 off uh that if you use our code then you're going to be getting a really great mouse for not a lot of money and i highly recommend it the other factor is I really love the wired to wireless experience. I just keep the USB kind of tied up and plugged in. I can't really show you it right now, but when I plug it in, it's a really seamless experience. There's no issues, there's no delay. It immediately responds. I don't find that the Bluetooth connection, connection adds any sort of latency either, which is huge. It has a thousand Hertz pulling uh, rate, which is really amazing, which means that you're not gonna get any of that missing opportunity and it does pull at a full thousand hertz so that's something you can put to bed um overall i just have been extremely impressed with the mouse uh whether it's the color and the design to the comfort and the usability and the responsiveness i think this mouse is is really punching above its weight next what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the software side so let's go ahead and cut over to a demonstration of what the pc software looks like where you can get it and what it can do uh, and then we'll do jump back into our final thoughts here. Okay, coders, so here's a quick little guide on how to get the Red Dragon software for your mouse installed on your computer. Uh, this one's really important, and the reason for it is it allows you to control all the LEDs as well as all of the additional mode functionalities, uh, like upping the DPI and things like that. So 
We're going to start by uh, going to the Red Dragon website. So give me a second. Let me pull that up. And you can go to the Red Dragon, reddragonshop.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for our product on the website. Uh, this should be nice and easy. We're looking for the Taipan mouse. So the Taipan Pro M810 uh, Pro Wireless mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and click on there. Uh, what you should be able to do is come to the download tab on this website and you're going to see this Red Dragon M810 Pro software. So let's go ahead and open it up now that I already have this installed. Um, I moved it over into the middle here right in front of uh, Master Chief's face. We're going to go ahead and open it up and we'll walk you through a couple of the main features uh, that we have available here. So first off, uh, one of the things that I'm going to recommend right off the bat is that we go on this main tab and we immediately change the USB pulling rate. Uh, which I think is at 125 all the way up to a uh, thousand Hertz and click apply What you're gonna see is a little loading bar and then that should immediately apply to the mouse <clears throat> The other thing that you have here is that you have all these different keys that you can highlight and choose what they do by default uh, the side keys four and five are gonna be forward and back um, if you're interested in changing that you can always uh, change it to a different key. Um, oftentimes you may want to apply it to a specific game. So go ahead and just double check what that key is in that game. Go ahead and update it and you should be good to go. So if you want it to be grenade, you just switch it to G for example, and you'd be able to do that. Um, and the option there, you can also have it so that you can change your polling rate on the fly and things like that. So depending on what you're looking for, uh, that's great. The other button that would be a really good option here is up in number eight. This is set to the fire key. I'm not 100% sure what the fire key is, but I would recommend that you go ahead and use that as one of your uh, controllable ones because you have plenty of other buttons to use on this mouse already. And this is one that is not traditionally on a mouse. So uh, you can see I'm sitting in 90% battery. I've been uh, wireless for about two days now using it pretty frequently. Um, I'm not gonna say the battery life is fantastic, but that is a decent indicator. The only thing about this is that there's no other place to see the battery health or the battery life of this mouse except for in the software which is not ideal so just wanted to point that out make sure to apply any settings you change uh, but that's a really good one under the advanced tab this is where you're going to change your uh, dpi settings so uh, i went ahead and left these by default but i have mine set to the uh, 2000 setting um, which is a very comfortable place uh, without being too fast the speed is set to standard my dpi effect is respiration but we can change that we can make it steady if we want to and if we make sure to apply it then now the mouse is solid green which is the color of this dpi now you can change these colors so if you don't really like the green but i do like the fact that they have indicators to easily understand where you're at now i don't know if you see that on the screen actually i should see that um yeah but if you change it while you're in here this is an easy way to find out Okay, which DPI am I at? So I'm at 2000, which is DPI three. The other thing is mouse sensitivity. I have improved pointers precision. I'm still playing around with this a little bit. So we may uh, change this to turned off. Mouse sensitivity, the 10 is totally fine. Scrolling speed at three feels pretty comfortable. Double click speed is right in the middle, which is good. The next tab on the uh, list to check out is the macro tab. I've not really played with macros. I'm not a big fan of them on mice. I think that at that point you're getting a little too complicated, but if you are, you can easily just create a new macro, come up with a name, uh, test macro. Looks like they don't allow you to space. So I'm just gonna do test. Oh, you can start record. So we're gonna go ahead and start the record. So maybe I want it to go A. Maybe talking about how long you have it pressed down versus you let up. So that is an interesting thing. This is actually a really decent macro um, program because it's not only managing the press, but it's also managing how long it's pressed down for before it's released, which is really cool. So um, I thought this was gonna be a little bit broken. It's just confusing. It's not explaining that very well, uh, but as you can see, it's recording the time delay. And so we could always just not do that or manually set it to a specific thing and then you can insert an event as well uh, and save these so you can make as many as you'd like um pretty straightforward but a little confusing so onto the lighting and this is probably the 
bread and butter of this mouse. This has pretty solid LEDs, although the strips on the outside, I feel like are a little bit dim. So I would love for them to improve that slightly. However, uh, the uh, brightness is at maximum. I have it set to streaming. We have three options. We have steady, respiration, streaming, or off. I'm sorry, four options, off. And then we have our speed options as well. You can also just custom color it if you'd like to. Um, and that's also an option on there as well. All in all, this is pretty simple software, but I did want to take you through it just to kind of show you the different options that you have there. So uh, that's it for the software for the Red Dragon uh, Type N mouse. Back to the review. Okay, so hopefully that was a nice look at the PC software. Now let's go ahead and wrap this review up with our final thoughts on this specific product. So uh, what is it about the Taipan Pro, the M810 Pro wireless gaming mouse that stands out to, you, to me? It's the price to performance. So at $32.99 and with discount codes uh, that bring it down even more, I, I gotta say the amount of performance you're getting out of a mouse that is this high quality is fantastic. Uh, I highly recommend anyone who's looking for a new gaming mouse to check out Red Dragon and their offerings, but specifically this mouse in, in particular. Um, I don't have massive hands, but I have you know large palms, and I feel like this is a really good, comfortable, uh, palm-friendly mouse. Now, if you're more of a pointer hander, uh, uh, holder, then this one might not be the one for you. And that's a really big key is find out what kind of mouse fits best in your hand. And if this is that kind of mouse, go ahead and get it. This is not something that you have to think twice about. It's going to compete with all those big name guys. It's not going to be, you know, missing polling rates or, or having problems with DPI or lack of customiz customiz customizability, lack of customizability. This is going to handle everything you're going to throw at it. So for us, it's a big recommend. I think this is a four and a half out of five. Uh, the only thing that would take that over the top for me is if the software was more full featured and a little bit easier uh, to understand some of the macro settings as well. So uh, hopefully this has been a very helpful review and you get a lot out of it. But uh, if you want to see more product reviews or, or gaming sessions, stick it right here to Game Code. Make sure to like the video. And if you are interested in picking up this mouse, check out our link below, which will get you 10% off uh, and will help support the channel through an affiliate link. So, and if not, go ahead and go to reddragonshop.com and go ahead and pick up any one of their products. We really do uh, recommend them uh, pretty highly, especially for the lower end uh, prices. So thanks again. And as always, stay classy coders.